Welcome back to Slam Shenanigans, and welcome. If this is your first time, hopefully it's not your last. Hit that subscribe button and see what's coming up. Anyways, this uh, today's project is about cleaning out the front end here. Um, I've had a bunch of logs stored here for quite a while. Um, most of it's firewood. Uh, as you can see by my time lapse here, I'm only going beyond the trailer there. Uh, that's where my log deck is, so some of those are millable, we're hoping. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of the first use of the uh, Jenkins Iron and Steel um, Split Top Super Duty Grapple. Um, phenomenal company. Stay tuned to the channel, and uh, hopefully you're going to see some affiliation with um, with my uh, company and their company in the near future here. I've been very impressed with their products so far. Uh, but basically, I'm just trying to clear out this area and get the wood where it should be down on the wood yard or on the log deck. Um, and you'll see kind of a, right there, I think, is where I put my first log back uh, to the side there in the snow where I'm working right now. Uh, I'm trying to get between a tree and the trailer there, and a couple of them were just too long. I didn't want to damage my brand new fifth wheel. Uh, so I had to put those uh, to the side, and we'll cut them up later in the video. Um, but uh, this has been a long time coming, trying to clear this area out here. And it's it's very muddy from the snow and the, the rains that we've got, so... Kind of tore the place up, and we'll, we'll get it looking better as we go on here. So this is where I'm coming back, and uh, these longer logs that just weren't safe to bring by the trailer and the um, tree there. I did the old forklift trick where you, you back up and you swing one end around, and then you pull the other end around for the ones that were close. But these are just a little too long to be dealing with that um, and chancing any damage to the trailer. So I'm cutting these in half. Uh, most of these are all firewood, so I'm not real worried about it. There's one log in here that is an oak um, that I'm going to try and pull off for a mantle uh, for the sawmill. So put the rhino away, go back, grab the uh, skid steer, and then we'll get the rest of these here down to the wood yard. So this was quite a bit of time here. Time lapse makes it look really fast, but uh, took quite a bit. This grapple is just phenomenal. Um, it's very, very strong, uh, very well built, American-made uh, back in Maine. Um, great company to work with too. I've called them on several things and it's just every time somebody answers the phone and they'll, they'll give you all the attention you need, uh, to solve whatever you're dealing with or answer questions in general. So these are going further to the, uh, the log yard, which is beyond the shop and the container that you can see there in the background is kind of showing a uh, picture. Here's a, a still of kind of a typical kind of, uh, load and how that split top really helps so now we're going into the a uh, little bit of video that i'm going to throw in here so this is where it's all going i've got this turnaround area set up to where i can just dump off the edge here and then i'll use the escalator down there to actually move it closer to the woodsheds and the splitter i can uh, just hold the, wood, the logs up with the excavator and cut them to length right there so hopefully this master plan is going to make my wood yard and uh, firewood stuff a lot more efficient i don't sell firewood i just do this for ourselves so we like to try and keep about four to six cords um, on hand it gives us a little more than a year now because our house is so well insulated we don't really burn that much but you can see that i'm i'm going quite a ways here so i'm, I'm trying to leave a lot of the real-time stuff in here so anybody that's considering doing this on their property knows that it's it's all about the time that it takes to do things so that's why i'm trying to make this wood yard more efficient because um, it does take a lot of time to do things if you don't have it set up right so you can see my skid steer coming back into the picture there on the left um, again it's about 19 acres uh, 20 without the easements taking away the acre um, and uh, from the wood yard to that front area is probably, I don't know, five, six hundred yards, maybe. So, yeah, four, four to five hundred yards, uh, which is quite a distance. Uh, the skid steer makes it so much better for, for moving things quickly, uh, and it can move a lot more than the little John Deere tractor. So, you see on this dump, I'm thinking a little bit more here, and that log on the bottom is the one that I want to pull back for the mill, so I didn't want to leave it on the bottom. So I'm going to maneuver in here to get the top two off of it so I can pick it again. So push those out of the way. Back up and reposition. And try to snag just that one log there. So it's a good, good size log for length and diameter for a uh, mantle. So 
I cut three sides off of it and uh, marketed it as a fireplace mantle, or just a traditional mantle for both things. So, and away we go back up. This one's only going to the mill, so not that long of a uh, trip for this one. And I think eventually this this is my third or lower level turnaround. Um, if I can find a source of fill dirt, because I'm kind of running out on my property, it's either rock or trees, and that's if it's trees, you can kind of get some dirt, but I'm not trying to take out any tree areas. That lower area is where the pond was, um, so I used all that dirt to uh, widen my area up there where you see the uh, the old pickup and the two trailers in the upper left. That's my uh, staging area. Eventually going to have a big lean-to off that Conex for parking and I'm hoping to get that done by the end of this year. Uh, get some things on our roof here. My boat's already taken some damage from the snow this year, so I pulled up here. I was going to grab the camera and I'm like, nah, I'm just going to take the, uh, the uh, grapple down here. So again, I'm going to leave this full length and uh, show you what it takes to take a piece of equipment off. So once I get it in position, uh, I got it because it's a hydraulically controlled um, piece of uh, implement. I got to get out and disconnect the hydraulic lines. So basically, I get out and uh, Takuchi is really good about having a um, a lever there that uh, you can actually bleed the pressure off. Because depending on how you leave that, you might have pressure on one side or the other of the circuit, uh, the hydraulic circuit, and uh, so does that. And then it's really easy to get those on and off, and it, it leaves no pressure in the implement on either side, so it's easier to hook up the next time. And occasionally, you got to worry about it when it goes when you disconnect it cold, and then you try to hook it up on a hot day. Uh, that oil in there can expand a little bit, so develop a little bit of pressure. So again, I'm leaving this full length. I'm not cutting any time out, so you can do it. But if you if you start a stopwatch back there, from the time I stop um, and open up the door. And disconnect and then start backing away it's right at a minute i think so the skid steer uh, system is fantastic for that it's just so much faster than a little, little tractor getting out and un undoing the clips and holding the clips or putting them somewhere so this is what i ended up with and if you remember the beginning of the video it didn't look like there was that much wood there but there was quite a bit here's a picture of uh kind of how it was left it looks a little smooth in front but it's really not it's very rough like this uh, so I think my next step here is going to be to to clean this up. So I think I got all these clips in uh, proper sequence now. Here I am. Yep, got the bucket on. So I'm trying to get some rocks off the road. Uh, this is brand new pavement. Didn't want to mess that up. So I'm basically just smoothing this out uh, and kind of leveling it out. And again, it was super muddy. So this is a prime. This is not a primary. It's a, an initial leveling. I'm going to have to come back when it dries out a little bit and then and kind of really smooth it up and slick it off. And right in front of the motorhome, right about where I'm at right there, is typically where I dump my stockpiles of rock to. So I'd like to get a better spot for that somewhere down below, maybe a bin with some some of the big uh, retaining wall blocks of the sides like you see in the um, landscape places. So got her cleaned up, looking pretty good. So almost completely done with this project, at least up front here. Uh, it's a huge cedar tree there. I'm hoping that guy never comes down. So here's the wood yard. Uh, and now uh, I kind of got ambitious. It's towards the end of the day. And I was like, hey, I'm going to just push these up out of the way. And then I'm going to bring that last or the first woodshed over there over here. So again, it's time lapse, but I'm going to leave you the full uh full uh, amount of time here. So you saw that I came off of the forks and I grabbed the bucket because <laughs> I just finished making this here and I, I really want to maximize how far back I can put this little woodshed. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of clearing out the edges of the, some of the mud that is left down here. Eventually, I think once I get this in place, I'll uh, put posts in the ground and do it a little bit different, kind of like uh, Mike did with the Outdoors and the Morgans. So there I was hooking up uh, because it was it was desi not designed to be moved, so I had to strap things to make sure that it uh, structurally held together. And once I did that, I realized that that front right post there uh, towards the bank was actually completely coming off. Uh, and the way these are built is it's set 
um, in those concrete cinder blocks. Um, and that's where it gets some of the stability. Uh, so basically I had to put this off for another day and uh, get the um, that post back secured before I could lift it up from this side and uh, turn it around, put it in its final resting spot. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, hit that subscribe button, like, and share it with your friends.